In this video, we're going to be talking about what is Jira work management. If you've ever wondered what is the difference between Jira service management and Jira software and compared any of the other Jira products against Jira work management, well, then this is going to be the perfect video for you because we're going to cover exactly what Jira work management is for and discuss if it's the right tool for you and your team. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down in the description down below as they contain all the different ways that you can help support the channel. I got a merch store. I got sponsored courses and, of course, links to all my sponsors. So make sure you show them some love. Check out the links down below. Don't want to sleep in because I got something to prove. I got to take what I hate and finally make a move. So let's talk about Jira work management. Now I'm gonna start off by telling you a very, very true story and one that I'm not the most proud to tell, but I think it's appropriate given the topic that we're talking about today. So a few months ago, Atlassian had this conference in Vegas and I was walking around the expo floor and I bumped into the marketing manager for Jira work management and I asked her, why do you exist? Because Jira work management is a very, very interesting product in the world of Jira. And given that there's five different Jiras, Jira work management is the one that makes the least sense to me. It's the one that seems the most out of place because to me, and if I had to simplify what is Jira work management, well, to me, the very simple definition of it is it's Trello inside of Jira with the Jira UI. That's the most basic way that I can describe what Jira work management is. But given that Trello exists, and given that it's owned by Atlassian, my question to her was, why do you exist then, right? Because Jira work management doesn't make a whole lot of sense in a world where Trello is available and in a world where we do have more powerful tools like Jira software, Jira Align, and so on. And she gave me a very interesting answer. She told me that Jira work management, it's basically Jira, but built for non-technical teams, aka business teams. And it's just a much, much more simplified version of Jira software, the one that we all love and know, but it's just so much more simpler, right? It's just a basic task tracker, AKA a Trello, if, if you're asking me, in my opinion. Brittany, please don't come at me. I know, I know Trello is so much more than that, but if we had to oversimplify it, it's just a task tracker. Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. As a Jira admin, how do you keep your Jira instance well-maintained, optimized, and free of inactive or unused projects and configurations? Well, you could do this manually by yourself, or you could use the complete admin tool optimizer for Jira to audit and configure, clean up and optimize Jira in a matter of minutes. It's the secret superpower helping thousands of Jira admins worldwide keep their Jira instances in tip top shape. Check it out using the link in the description down below. And now back to the video. In any case, Jira work management is an interesting tool though, because it is a very, very different experience than Jira software. It still looks and feels just like Jira software, but we do lose all the agileness, all the technical software development aspects of Jira software. Those kind of go away and front and center is this tool that really stands to compete with like your Mondays, your Asanas and your Trellos. It's a much more simplified experience that lets you just track work. And you do get some really cool functionality that I wish you also got in the Jira software projects. And first of all, you get a list. Now, this is the most simple way of looking at your work. This is just going to be a list view. Think of this as like your backlog in a Jira software project. Now, one really cool feature that you get is you get a calendar view. So unlike Jira software where you got to go pay for a calendar view, calendar views are built into Jira work management and they really let you visualize based on your start and due date what all the different work that your team is working on and when are things due and when should people be working on what. Now you do also get a traditional Kanban board view where if you wanted to go in that more traditional Jira visualization of moving items from one status to another, you do get that. And you also get the timeline view, which if you set up your task to subtask, you get that hierarchy, you get to put the dates, and again, you get to really visualize like you do in your traditional Jira software board. But what you also get that is very unique to Jira work management is this summary tab up at the top. Now this summary tab is a really, really cool thing because it gives you insights. It basically takes dashboards and metrics and reportings that you would normally in Jira software have to go build in a dashboard 
it puts it right front and center. First thing you see, as you can see here on the top, kind of hard to see here, but it is the very first thing that you'll see when you go into your Jira work management project. And it gives you the most important, insightful information that you need. And I think that's really, really cool. So basically in a nutshell, if you're looking for a tool that is very much like Asana or Monday or Trello, and you just want your team to be able to collaborate on tasks, but you also don't want them to be overwhelmed with Jira software because let's face it, Jira software is a very overwhelming product, then Jira work management is going to be the right tool for you and your team. Now, I don't necessarily agree that Jira work management is for business teams. I think it can work for any team and it just has a variety of different applications. So it can work even for technical teams, but obviously if they're working in an agile methodology, Jira work management is not going to be the tool that you're gonna to wanna to use. But if you want a very, very simple task tracker that is still within the native Jira UI and it's gonna just flow, right? All the data is still gonna be centralized in a single tool. The pricing is gonna be centralized in this single tool and the overall administration and configurations are centralized in this central tool, then Jira work management is gonna be the tool that you're gonna to wanna to explore. Now, very similar to the other Jira products, Jira work management works well with Jira software. It also works well with Confluence. And there's automation, smart links, and shared release dates that you can leverage across all three of the different products. So just because you're using Jira work management doesn't mean you're siloed out. Because it shares the DNA, you're gonna be able to leverage these tools as they complement each other. Now, another few things that make this tool much more interesting. Unlike Jira software, you also get forms. So you're gonna be able to track requests and automate your intake process, collect the right information and save time doing it. So as many of you know, you don't have the ability to do forms in Jira software. You can in Jira service management, but that's a whole different video for a different topic. But in the Jira work management project, you'll be able to do this. Also coming soon, so let me click on the pricing guide for you over here, coming soon, is going to be the ability to have approval. So very much similar to how approvals work in a Jira service management project, you're gonna be able to add approvers. Now, unfortunately, that functionality is only for the premium version of Jira work management, but it's okay because it's not that much more expensive. It's actually ch quite cheaper than Jira software premium. So you're gonna be able to get a lot of information here, a lot of functionality from the premium version. Now, you will get forms, you get these business project templates, dependencies, dashboards, smart links, shared release dates, and apps and integrations, but you won't get the overviews, which are managed cross-functional dependencies, updates, and changes without context switching, allows you to visualize and track work across multiple projects with an overview. So basically, advanced roadmap is what I'm seeing. Uh, you don't get that unless you're on premium. You don't get the approvals unless you're on premium, and you're not going to get this admin insights. You're not going to get release tracks, and you're not going to get a sandbox. So if you've ever used the sandbox and you're used to that, you do need to go over to your work management premium. Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. As a Jira admin, how do you keep your Jira instance well-maintained, optimized, and free of inactive or unused projects and configurations? Well, you could do this manually by yourself, or you could use the complete admin tool, Optimizer for Jira, to audit and configure clean up and optimize Jira in a matter of minutes. It's the secret superpower helping thousands of Jira admins worldwide keep their Jira instances in tip top shape. Check it out using the link in the description down below. And now back to the video. Now, aside from the functionality there, I wanna just close out this video by telling you that if you have a team who is desperately looking for a tool that is just simple, right? You just want a simple cross company collaborative tool that allows your teams to go away from just having you know sticky notes everywhere and tracking tasks that are just you know physically or, or they're just a hodgepodge everywhere and you want everything to be centralized right because everything in this atlassian tool is centralized to the rest of your jira so if you're already a team that's using jira software then just folding in jira work management is very very natural and very very easy to do now the flip side is and this is something that Atlassian is starting to kind of market and advertise is if you have a team and you want them to start using Jira work management, but you don't already have Jira software, then they are going to make it easier. Atlassian is working on something called Atlassian Together. And let me pull that up for you real quickly. So Atlassian is creating something called Atlassian Together, which basically for one fixed price, 
you get access to Confluence, you get access to Trello, you get access to Jira Work Management, and you get access to Atlas, which are gonna be great communication tools to allow you and your team to work together. You also get the ability to have your SSO integration, so you get what they call Atlassian Access. And so for one price of $15.20 per user per month, you're gonna be able to get all these other products all together. So you get four products plus, again, the SSO integration. And it's a really, really interesting tactic. So if you're a company, you're a team that's not necessarily ready to commit to Jira software because let's face it, Jira software, it's, it's, a, it's an involved process. It's a very, very involved tool, very, very IT heavy centric tool, but you do want a tool that again, your team can collaborate fairly easily, very, very minimal configuration time required. And you just want your team to be able to get in there, start talking, start holding each other accountable, being able to collaborate, have you track your tasks, your work, right? If you just want something very, very simple, then I recommend you take a look at that at last and together and or just look at Jira Work Management and Confluence as the standard versions of those are like $5 each and it's gonna be a very, very cheap alternative for you and your team. So anyways, that's basically what Jira Work Management is. So if I had to summarize what Jira Work Management is in one sentence, it's basically your Trello Asana Monday.com inside of the Jira UI, very, very simple, allows any team in your company, regardless of their specialty, regardless of whether you're doing agile or not, it allows any team in your company to be in this Jira environment, be very, very productive, but also be in an environment that is very similar, that feels very comfortable to any team that is already using Jira software. Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. As a Jira admin, how do you keep your Jira instance well-maintained, optimized, and free of inactive or unused projects and configurations? Well, you could do this manually by yourself, or you could use the complete admin tool, Optimizer for Jira, to audit and configure, clean up, and optimize Jira in a matter of minutes. It's the secret superpower helping thousands of Jira admins worldwide keep their Jira instances in tip-top shape. Check it out using the link in the description down below. And now back to the video. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Make sure you don't forget to check out the links down in the description down below, as those are gonna contain links to all the different ways that you can help support the channel. So if you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you check out the description down below because those sponsors and my courses and my merch store is what helps keep this channel alive. So make sure you go share some love over there. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. So